Hey guys, in today's video, we're going to show you how you can build your own chat GPT intent system, basically an replacement for OpenAI embeddings and reply to hundreds of questions about your business. And again, you don't need any kind of embedding uh, for, this, uh, for this option to work. In short, what you're going to be building is multiple chat completions, which each having its own topic. Then the main chat completion, so the initial chat completion, will contain all the topics about the business and will then return a certain value based on the user's question or input. And then from there, from that value, we will be able to trigger a certain note, a certain chat completion note through an action with go to note NS. If we take a look inside the main chat completion, as you can see here, the chat GPT intent system, if you're going to take a look inside, you will see that we have a system message, but it's a little bit different, right? So this is something that I've been experimenting with on my own account. And you can see that I have different kinds of topics. So if a user has any questions regarding uh, my membership, then only respond with this uh, with this certain value. And this certain value is an NS ID of a new, basically a new chat completion node. You will see that if a user has any questions about templates, then also reply only this specific value. If we go down a little bit, you will see that if a user mentions the chatbot is stuck, frozen or not responding, then only respond with this value and nothing else. As you can see, this is a different NS node value. And so, and just by going down the list, as you can see, I have different kinds of topics. And for example, this kind of topic, if I have any tutorials they can watch, then the user will be forwarded towards this node. Basically what this replaces is OpenAI embed matching with chat completion. The great part is, the great advantage about this system is that you will be able to do everything with ChatGPT and you don't need any kind of embeddings. Even if you have hundreds and hundreds of questions, you can use this system as well. There is also a little bit of a downside, which I will explain later. But if we take a look at an example, so do you do coaching, right? If we go down and we're going to say test a request, if we take a look at the response being given, you will see that the only content that is being given is 106, ending at 106. And this is a note about my membership. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to map this towards a certain chat GPT note matching, as you can see here, right? The next step is we're going with a go to note NS action. Inside, we are going to basically insert the variable that we got from the chat GPT intent system. And this node will then forward it towards the next chat completion. And in this case, it will be the membership information. And inside of this chat completion, you will see that I have all the information inside the system message about my membership, the chatbot marketing accelerator, as you can see, and all kinds of questions will be given here, right? So the answer to, or the information to all kinds of questions will be given here. Also have a few guidelines on how the user or how chat GPT needs to respond. But you can see how easy this is to create. As you can see, I only have three different kinds of notes, but for example, if you have different kinds of products, if you have different kinds of topics, then you will be able to create several kinds of chat completions to also minimize the token usage, of course, right? Uh, because you will be splitting up the, basically the business information in smaller chat completions, which should also reduce your token count. There is also a downside to this. And the downside is basically, if you're not using the model or you're not having access towards the model GPT-4, it will be a little bit more difficult. So if I'm going to basically remove this model 
and we're doing the exact same test. So do you do coaching? You will see that if I'm going to do a test request, most likely I'm not only going to get the note NS ID back, but an entire sentence. Sometimes it works as you can see here. If I, for example, change this. So let's say, so if I would do something like this, do you have any manager templates should also go towards this specific note. So I should only get this returned, but sometimes it's a little bit finicky and it will return an entire sentence. In this case, it's still outputting only the note. And that is actually because we have a certain guideline only return the value mentioned in between these quotation marks and do not make sentences. So just keep in mind that if you do not have access towards the GPT-4 model, you might have issues with the message that you get back. So it could also include an entire sentence with this value inside. That's the downside of using the 3.5 turbo model. Uh, but as we can see from a few sentences that we just previewed, it still returns the specific content node NS ID. So soon as that happens, again, we will go towards this go to node NS. And from here, we will go towards the smaller chat completions. So if I take a look at, for example, my YouTube channel chat completion, I have all kinds of video examples that I have directly inside. As you can see here, if a user asks how to create images, then give them this link. If a user wants to know which model is better, GPT-3 or GPT-4, then send them this link, right? So this is the way that you can build your own chat GPT intent system, basically your chat GPT embed system rather, right? And be able to divide your business related messages into smaller chat completions. It will reduce your token amount and also make sure to return specific data sets.